elderly people killed in their home in Westville, KwaZulu-Natal. They were found uh, with gunshots, and one of their employees uh, found them this morning. Senior reporter Desen Tatia is on the ground for more on the story. Desen, what is the latest you can tell us about this? Horrible story unfolding here mm. in Westfall. That information coming through a short while ago, that discovery of two older persons at their home. In fact, it's just behind me. What you're looking at now is the driveway that leads up to that home. It's been cordoned off by police. There are detectives that have already gone up to the scene. They're obviously now trying to make sense of exactly what transpired here. But uh, that confirmation coming through that those two, uh, seemingly a couple, were killed and their bodies are still inside that home. This, just for context, is a fairly quiet neighborhood in Westfall North. We are standing on Wellington Road at the moment, so certainly this is uh, news that has shocked the community and those that work in the area as well. Initially, paramedics did receive a call. I'm going to talk to one of them now, Gareth Jameson from ALS Paramedics. Thank you so much for joining me, Gareth. Uh, just talk to me about uh, what information had come through initially when you got this call. So we received a, a call to our control room to state that somebody had collapsed in the driveway and uh, was an elderly lady. So we sent an ambulance out and on their arrival they were startled to find uh, this uh, murder scene um, or crime scene, uh, be it may. So they then uh, called through and obviously SAPS and everyone was uh, contacted. We managed to gain entry into the, the premises and found that unfortunately two elderly people, a male and a female, had sustained uh, multiple gunshot wounds and uh, had were declared deceased on the scene. Gareth, talk to me about where exactly in the house they were at the time or where are their bodies located at the moment and just your first impressions when you walked into the house. Uh, when, I, when we arrived on scene we found uh, the bodies, it seemed like they were um, at the, the um, dining room table, lounge table. Um, that's, that's where the bodies were found next to that. Um, so I'm not sure exactly the, the circumstances around that. However, um, you know, it was, uh, we had to gain entry through the, the rear of the house to, to actually gain. Um, and we were alerted to this by uh, one of the, the gardener that has come today to, to work. And obviously he alerted uh, neighbors who alerted our control center. We know that they, they were shot. Do you have any sense of how many times they may have been shot or where exactly? Obviously, due to the crime scene and the nature, obviously, SAPS will confirm that. Um, however, it was to the upper body, um, unknown how many numbers exactly um, that the, the, the elderly people had uh, sustained gunshot wounds. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for your time. Gareth Jameson there from ALS Paramedics. I can tell you that uh, that will be one of the things that the detectives that are here will now be trying to establish. That's exactly what transpired here and exactly uh, what went wrong, whether it was a home invasion, whether it was uh, just uh, purely a murder or a double murder in this instance. But right now, because it is this early and because this discovery has just been made, some of those details are unavailable. We did also put in an inquiry with the SAPS to try to get some more of that information. They will be giving us an update until, uh, as soon as they are able to provide more detail. Mm, quite bizarre. Thank you so much uh, for that update. Des and Tathia, of course, those two elderly people in West Folk, Wazir Natal, uh, shot in their home. We will be updating you on that story as soon as we can get more details around what exactly happened there.